at 10 after six months not knowing what happened to Paul Kaspersky, a Maui family finds answers in the rubble of a Lahaina furniture store. The well-known carpenter has been confirmed as the 101st victim of the August fire. Our Jelani Martinez spoke to his loved ones and joins us now with more. His family tells me that his body was found just a few days ago. A reminder that after all the cleanup so far, the burn zone could still hold human remains. 76-year-old Paul Kaspersky was a longtime carpenter, best known for creating the iconic Lahaina signs that welcomes people on both ends of town. His son Adam and his wife Jennifer knew he was gone. But they had been waiting for this moment. Oh, it is really sad, but I, it's like we can, I don't know, I feel like we'll feel closer, like we have, we'll, we have a piece of him. They found out yesterday that his remains had been found Friday in the rubble of a large furniture store on Limahana Place. So he, uh, he tried to ride out of there and he ended up uh, ditching his bike and trying to, what it, it sounds like he tried to shelter in place in a, a tilt up concrete building. He was trying to survive. Um, I think that's also that's that's important. I mean, he 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 wanted to he wanted to live. He loved his family. Feeling like he was out there somewhere, but we didn't know where. I think it was untethering for the whole family. It's a familiar feeling all over Maui as fire survivors process their grief and pain in different ways at different speeds. You know, our message to people is it's okay to not be okay. Maui Mayor Richard Bisson says mental health is actually the island's top problem right now, even more than housing. Yeah, almost every single person involved in this is, is traumatized, every single person. Um, whether you're a first responder or whether you're someone that works at a hotel or worked at a, worked at a restaurant, um, what, what we are learning is that everybody's trauma is at their own pace. The government and private groups have been offering counseling services and the National Child Traumatic Stress Network has trained county employees in psychological first aid. Every county worker gets nine free therapy sessions and 76 county workers who lost their homes have formed a support group. With 101 people now confirmed dead, that leaves two people still unaccounted for, Elmer Stevens and Robert Owens. Confirmation of Kaspersky's death is a reminder that the authorities tasked with recovering remains have not given up. Yeah, I mean, I think those guys are doing a great job. They're, they're every day trying, they still have two more to find, you know, and they're, they're going right back at it.